ओके वेरी गुड इवनिंग अंजू सर गुड इवनिंग सर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कांग्रेचुलेशन फॉर योर ग्रैंड सक्सेस इन नबाक 2022 थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर सो ऑल द पर्सनस विद वाचिंग दिस वीडियो वी लाइक टू से दैट अंजीता हेल्स फ्रॉम सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज केरला एंड शी हैज वेड इनटू नबाक दिस टाइम so we will know about uh, how did she made it into, into nabad from her only that how was her experience how she managed to study and what are, what are her motivational aspects which keep her, kept her motivated all around the preparation process uh, so anjita coming on to the first question that uh, what is your attempt that how many attempts were the attempts you given for the nabad so the, this is my first attempt sir so i have uh, okay. resigned from my job my previous job i was working in uh, federal bank i completed my masters uh, in physics in 2018 then after that i joined uh, federal bank i was working in a bank in the in federal bank for uh, till uh, 2022 may mm-hmm. i resigned and uh, started preparing for uh, this uh, nabad exam nabad yeah. okay fine so any specific aim or motivation that you have designed from your job because you are already working bank federal bank you have designed and then preparing so any uh, aim that you will prepare for for nabad or it was just a scattered resignation that you will prepare for all the examinations yeah actually i wanted to uh, try for a better career opportunity like i wanted to try for all the regulator body exams uh, mm-hmm. that is why i resigned Okay, and in first time you got the success. That's great. Yes, yes. Right? Okay. So as you told that you have done your graduation in physics, right? Yes, sir. And it is a myth among the aspirants, those who want to prepare for the NABARD, that I do not have biological background, I do not have agricultural background, and I do not have technical uh, degrees only. That engineers are only successful. So mm-hmm. you being from a physics uh, graduation and post graduation. So, how do you see your journey in Nabard? Uh, how did you came across all those ARD, ESI topics? Can you uh, let us know all the fresh aspirants about this? Uh, actually, as you always used to say, that you don't have to take PhD uh, in agriculture. You are not here for that. This is a, just a generalist post. So they are not. They are also not expecting that you have to know so much in detail about agriculture. You just have to have a, an overview. You should know what are the relevant questions. that are being asked and you have to cover from an like uh, like from from the uh, above everything you don't have to master each topic mm-hmm. uh, actually it is not that difficult to study and all uh, you you have to memorize a lot of things so you can you have to keep revising it is not difficult to understand also once you read and you watch, watch your youtube videos you have uh, given a lot of youtube videos so i learned from that youtube videos only so i used to uh, uh, like see that youtube videos i took a okay. uh, print out of the master notes okay. uh, revised it multiple okay, times good. so okay ganjita so one more thing uh, see as i can see in your diary as well you taken your mock also that uh, as you said that you do not have any upsc background mm-hmm. right and one more myth is among student that only upsc aspirants they only qualify this examination and those aspirants who do not have any upsc experience they fear that i will be not able to write descriptive do you have any earlier uh, experience of writing descriptive answers like this uh, no actually i did not have any experience that, that is why i was most afraid of that section only i was very scared of descriptive part But, and uh, i i used to ask i, I asked first like i uh, it was very difficult for me to start writing i was not able to uh, think and write initially but when i wrote answers like continuously uh, in your uh, that uh, power play in your platform i was able to improve and you also gave me motivation that after reading my answers you told that you are a probable candidate like that so that gave me motivation to make my answers better and write more uh, like that sure. so all the uh, future aspirants who are targeting 2023 i would like to just uh, tell you that anjita was quite regular in writing the answers i used to view her answers how she is writing and uh, in what way she is accumulating all the points so that was wonderful so if you want to prepare you should not take this descriptive lightly 
you should not think that I will just write later on. You should keep on writing as per the test given. That gives you an exposure. And that also helps to understand me that you're going in the right direction or not. So that I can help you in regarding that. Uh, right. So this is also a myth broken today by Yanjita that only UPSC aspirants who have writing background, they can only make into this. And I'm quite sure that Anjita will have a good rank in this examination. Top 10, I think she will be getting. So let's see what ranks comes out, but I think she'll be getting a good rank in the final merit list also. Uh, so now, uh, see, new students will be more interested knowing from you that the prelims will uh, talk one by one, prelims, mains, and the interview. So prelims, how did you uh, study for the, uh, see, prelims now it's, uh, broken down into two parts that is qualifying and the merit section. So, how you managed first you tell us about the qualifying section, the quant reasoning and English and decision making, how do you tackle? And later on, you tell us about the merit section, about the ARD, ESI, and GA part. In prelims, how you managed all this? Okay, in prelims, uh, for qualifying uh, that quant reasoning and English, I was actually preparing for that RBI assistant exam in March. So, that time I brushed up all the basics of quant reasoning and English. So it was not that much different from the RBA assistant exam, this NABAT quant and so it was quite helpful. And I brushed up again, I did some two or three mocks. So that was enough for the quant, these three things. And uh, for computer, actually you, you have given in your course uh, some quizzes. So I did all those quizzes. I, I don't have any computer background and all studied physics. So it was new for me. I did not know anything, so I religiously followed your quizzes. I studied all the answers. Then I did also ADDA. Uh, there is an app, ADDA. So in yes, that also, there are some computer quizzes. So that mm -hmm. also I did then wrote answers. Like that is by heart. Mm -hmm. And decision making is also a fearful factor for the aspirants. Mm -hmm. uh, how are the decision making? I just followed your master notes. You, you have given a PDF decision making. Mm -hmm. That is more than enough. You just have to score some two or three max marks right. out of the 10 questions. So you just have to read some two or three times. I, I think I read three times that notes. Good, good. That is more okay, now good. coming on to the main thing, Anjita, the merit section. The first and defining factor that students fear of is ARD. How you manage the ARD section for the parents? Uh, ARD, I, I religiously followed your master note, nothing else. The syllabus is actually very vast. So we don't know how much, we, I don't know how much we want to study. Anything can come from agriculture. So, yes. so uh, uh, what, I, I had limited time. So what I can do is that whatever you have given, I studied religiously. I have uh, actually so many uh, topos videos and all. So they also relied your materials and got cleared. So that was inspiring and I understood that I'll be able to clear using your material. So, uh, yes, so is this is a clear cut message uh, to all the aspirants. See, there are a lot of things. Agriculture is mother of all sciences, as said. And if you we'll keep on going, uh, reading the agriculture subjects, you'll keep on going inside that. So that is as Anjita said from starting that you're not doing PhD in agriculture for this examination. So you have to limit the things. You should know this is the syllabus. These are the important things. I have to pick up it from this syllabus and these are the questions can be asked. So it's my experience only with the topic I can tell the student that these questions can come from this topic, right? Yes, yes. So that has actually helped this year also and last year also it has helped immensely the students. Now coming on to the one more thing, uh, ESI section, how you manage the ESI section? What was your take on that? So actually I completed uh, Affairs Cloud Magazine, six months Affairs Cloud Magazine I completed, but, and also your prelims power play all the power plays I completed. But after writing the exam, I felt that uh, your prelims power play was the most helpful uh, thing. Uh, like, because I had actually, because it was tough this time. This ESI was tougher compared to the ARD. Like they were asking a lot of data related, very tough questions they were asking. So right. your power play questions were at par with the exam level questions. So I, I, I think I only attempted around 15 questions. I think one or two questions I guessed, but rest all the questions directly came from your power play. So I don't think I'll be able to clear this exam if I would not have attempted your power play. 
That was so this is, I, I can recollect on data just after the examination when I was going through the conversation of the students with me in our group. Uh, they clearly told me, yes, as you told that this time, uh, I got place for what I don't know. Whatever mm -hmm. questions we have done in ESI, it directly clicked in the examination. Yes, yes. Let's hope that this year also for 2020. One NFHS, some question was there. So I studied many data points from the NFHS that uh, report, mm -hmm. but one question you gave, uh, like I, I remember 19 percentage was the answer, I think. That was in your power play. It is because of that only I was able to answer. Many questions were like that. It directly came from the, huh, okay. the questions. Good, good, good. It has their aspirants. Thanks, Anjita, for your uh, gestures for that. Uh, okay, so this is how she prepared for the prelims. And now coming on to the mains, uh, mains uh, objective and the descriptive section. So what was the take objective? Uh, have you calculated your scores in and around this approximate how much you are getting in the objective? Not at all, sir. Actually, I was very afraid. Okay. So I did not calculate. <laughs> Okay, I, fine. I, I, and I attempted 24 questions. I think two or three questions were wrong that I know, but I did not check any other answers also. So okay, okay, good. Good. This is also a good uh, you aspirants can do. Do not take tension. Just do whatever has happened has happened. We cannot do. But What's I had done, has because done. descriptive was okay, kind of okay, good for me. So I didn't mm -hmm. want to take Right. Now, coming on to this aspect, Anjita, on the descriptive, many aspirants, those who do not have the uh, habit of writing the answers. So how you manage this descriptive paper? I Means after prelims, what was your strategy for this descriptive paper? How you manage the things? Uh, Miss, what are, what are the things where in your mind as an aspirant uh, would like to know that? What you used to do? What you used to think during that time? It was actually uh, very, uh, I was very tensed. I, I did not have any writing experience as I told and I was not sure whether I'll be able to write whether that will be good good enough uh, like so I, I I had no option but to follow your content because only 25 days I think around 30 mm -hmm. days were there yeah yeah yes. the prelims so I, mm -hmm. I I was not able to look into any other materials or collect any, anything else so you have mm. given some, you made the entire syllabus into 20 chapters and uh, mm. two to four questions in every chapter. Right, right, right. And so every day I used to complete each chapters, like three to four questions I completed each day. I used to Google it and uh, like from UPSC websites and all, I take each questions mm. and then uh, collect data from various sources, UPS, UPSC websites and like Drishti, Insight, I, so many websites nice. are there. And also uh, from your answers also, if I'm missing out something, then I used to take that point. Then I used to make it into a proper answer format. And then I studied that answer. Good. So this is a very clear uh, message to the aspirants. See, whenever you're preparing for the descriptive, uh, you can refer some good UPC websites. Uh, and as we said, Drishti and all, I also, used to say all the time to the aspirants that refer some good UPSC website, you will get, gain some more knowledge and you, that will be helpful in writing the uh, description. I use also is very good. Yeah, that very good. Refer. Yeah, so you can refer this website that will enhance your knowledge and help in practicing the description. Yeah, next day uh, then I used to study. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I used yeah, to yes, study one day and the next day I used to like attempt your uh, test. Mm -hmm. Descriptive. Yeah, that was the target I think given to all the aspirants that you have the, the topics were given to all the that this is the topic for this day. You have to start at evening, you have to write the answer. Yeah. So this this what I was saying that see, you have to uh, go through a target-based approach, right? That this is the topic for the day. I have to study for this and I have to write. And on and all I I I always used to say that do not try to delve too much deep for a question. First, apply your brain. Then try to accumulate some points in that. Then you'll remember the things. First of all, you can go into the uh, uh, things that I will scan the resources, I will scan the material. Then you'll forget everything in the examination because you do not have the liberty of writing and writing in the examination due to the paucity of time. So yeah. first try to brainstorm with the uh, topic, whatever has been given to you. Then write your answer. Then try to take out some good points from different websites, as she mentioned. That is a good approach for this descriptive. Yes. Right? So. How was the interview experience on Gita last? Interview, uh, actually, it was quite good, my interview experience. 
I have given some two to three mocks, but my performance was very poor in every all the mocks. But as so, I had no hopes actually for going while going for interview. <laughs> but somehow, I don't know. I I think I got lucky that day. <laughs> It went very well actually. Okay, so you answered there most of the questions that day. Yeah, all every questions. Okay. Because I my interview was in the end also. You you were posting mm. all the questions. So I, so I had an idea. Mm-hmm. All the questions. Great. So my last question to Anjita would be: I have taken a lot of your time. So any three suggestions would you like to give for twenty twenty three aspirants? Um, I think uh, I like like I said first, like you don't have to do take PhD in all the topics. You just have to know basics, and the questions asked asked are, are also not. very high level especially in the ard and all very simple questions they are asking so you don't have to go much deep dive into each topic and study everything master everything so what you can do is that uh, like your can your master notes are more than sufficient for, for clearing this exam so uh, that is one thing and actually um, watching this toppers interviews also help me a lot so that i don't want, like i won't commit those mistakes again mm-hmm. so they were they were all saying that these are the mistakes they have committed they were using lot of resources so i think mm-hmm. watching you uh, stop us interview their strategy maybe we don't have to copy all the strategies but right. make the strategy like the, our own strategy by use by listening to all the uh, other strategies mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like that right. mm-hmm. so that's it sir Okay, okay, Anjita. Thanks and congratulations once again uh, in this journey of Tapar. And you enjoy your job and contribute towards the agriculture and rural development of India. Thank you so much, sir. Actually, okay, okay, Anjita. Best of luck.